Hello and welcome to this video which is about something which has come up in a number of places including a question on my channel which is how to transfer the Cubase 12 cord pad presets into Cubase 13. Now this actually will apply for a number of things but let's take a look at cord pads. So the question specifically was how to get these particular ones. So there's all these major scale ones. You've got your major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished chords which obviously is nice to have ready and they were provided and while they were fairly sort of basic and straightforward it's a useful thing to have particularly if you want to strengthen your music theory minor scale chords etc so this will work with any of those so what you need to do is to load up whatever you want so in this case we're going to load up major scale key a so you can see those there now, all you need to do is to save these as a chord pads preset. The reason you can't move them initially is because they're in uh, sort of the presets which come with Cubase. So they're not saved as separate files. So the way that the content, a lot of it is stored in Cubase is the stuff that you saved is generally saved as individual files. Whereas the, the factory content tends to be in this sort of monolith that you can't access. So you're stuck but this allows you to transfer them. So all you need to do once you've got it loaded up is do save chords pads preset and then save it in this case, a major chords. We'll just call it the same thing. And then you should be good to go. So let's go and take a look in Cubase 13 and see how we get to that because this is another area which a couple of people have had problems with. So here we are in Cubase 13, and now we're going to load that preset that we've seen and also see the problem that a few people I've seen have encountered. So if you click here, we can see that that A major preset is not present at the moment. So the one we just saved in Cubase 12 isn't visible. At this point, plenty of people would give up and say, well, you, you just can't do it. You can't access them. But that's not actually the case. If you click the up arrow here, we go into the factory presets effectively. And if we go up another level, we can see we've got factory content and user content. And that, if we go in there, we'll see in chord pads, that's where your A major cause is. Now, you don't want to just see that, probably. So if you go up a couple of levels, so here you can see we're all the way up. So basically, just click, absolutely spam that until you get to the top. Click this button, and then you see the contents of all the subfolders. So this is something that's easy to miss. So this allows you to see everything in the folders below. It sorts through. It finds the factory presets you see here, but also finds the presets that you've saved. If we'd put a content summary, that would have all been in there, etc. So now we can load this up. Just double click that. Now, if you want to recreate those in other keys, you are free to do so. It's pretty easy to do because you can just select all and then just transpose them up. So there we could have A sharp. And then we could resave that by clicking here and let's call it A sharp, major chords, etc. So obviously I won't take you through the whole process. That would be rather tedious, but you get the idea. So you can recreate these in any way you want. I probably would just save it as one major chords and then just transpose it to suit because it's so easy to do now. So, but if you want to say recreate all of those, obviously you can save it as A sharp, major chords, and then particularly if you can type. And then you're done. Then you can have all of those recreated. That's pretty much it. Now, the last thing is if you want to transfer them from one computer to another, you need to know where those files are. Uh, it took me a while to find them, I'll be honest. So I'm going to save you having to scratch your head and look at the Steinberg post, which isn't particularly helpful. And they seem to be scattergunned around the file system. So I'm going to save you the pain and show you where they are. So this is the location on macOS. So if you're on macOS, it will be in your library folder. So there are two library folders on macOS. There's one that's on, on your hard drive, in the root of your hard drive. So it'd be typically Macintosh HD and then library. But also, confusingly, there's a library inside your own folder, which is, again, a bit of a head scratcher. So if you want to access that easily, let's just make a new tab so we don't lose that. If you go to the Go menu here, if you hold down the Option key, then you see library appears. And once you're there, then you should be good to go. So you need to go to application support. And then Steinberg. And then you'll see the magic core pads thing. And there you can see those two files that I saved. So if you want to transfer them to another computer, all you need to do is to copy these to this same location on another computer. And you'll be good to go. 
Now let's go and take a look over in Windows. So here we are on Windows, and this is just showing you the path where those files are. So it's on the C drive typically, although your users folder may be elsewhere, but your users folder, username, my name's Darren, obviously, and then the app data folder. So the app data folder is hidden, so you will need to turn on the viewing of hidden files and folders. There's plenty of tutorials on the internet how to do that. But if you want to get around that, if you just click up here, you can actually just type this whole address, and then it lets you in even if you're not seeing them. So then it's roaming, Steinberg, and core pads. And here you see a couple of dot core pads files, much like we saw on the Mac. And then you're in business and you'll be able to transfer these between computers and obviously between different versions of Cubase. The other, there are other things in here. So particularly track presets. So if you want to copy track presets to other computers, providing you've got the same plugins, this, that, and the other, uh, the track presets are under Steinberg track presets. And then you can see you've got audio, instrument, MIDI, etc. those kind of things. So if you want to transfer those, that can make life nice and easy, particularly if you're working in two studios, which was how I originally found this at the time. So hopefully you found that useful and have found out how you can get core pad presets from previous versions into newer versions of Cubase and possibly a few other track types and presets as well. Maybe you've learned a bit about where Steinberg stores all their stuff and hopefully you found that useful. In any case, hopefully we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.